Welcome back. Coming up, the star of the West End, Ramin's here to sing a Phantom of the Opera classic. But now my next guest is one of our most successful transatlantic imports. He was one half of the iconic 80s cop duo Dempsey and Makepeace. He caused outrage in Jerry Springer, the opera, and now he's taken to the musical, starring in Singing in the Rain. Before we meet him, let's remind ourselves why he was so popular with the ladies. Come on, baby. Give me a kiss. Huh? Come on. Oh, honey, baby. Come on. Come on. You see? You see? Whoa! Whoa! Reader, I married him. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Brandon. <laughs> Michael, in a scene like that, I mean, you and Billy are married, you know, so it worked, obviously. It's a, it's yeah. Good technique. How well did that work? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you know that's coming, are you, are you kind of... Don't... Anticipate the water coming. Don't anticipate the slap. It's going to happen. Was it a real slap? Yes. <laughs> she enjoyed it immensely. <laughs> <laughs> she really. She said, I, I said, you know, make it real. You know. She did. She did. Well, here you are. You've gone through Dempsey Make Peace. You've gone through Jerry Springer the Opera. Now singing in the rain, which is getting rave reviews. Happy to be associated with it. I know. It's it's fantastic. I it it all started. My son is a film buff as well. We were watching, I said, this is a classic, watch this, this movie, which is 60 years old now, right? And uh, we watch it, and he stayed through the whole thing, and it, it was really amazing. Gene Kelly directed it, it was yeah. fantastic. And then, a couple of weeks later, they offered me the play. And I told him about it, he said, well, you should do it, you'd be good. And I said, well, yeah, but it's in some place I never heard of. I said, it's not London. He said, but it would be fun. And I said, fun, fun. <laughs> fun. You know, you don't think about a job. It would be fun. You think about career moves, you think about projects, you think about who you're working with, that director, the script. Fun. Said, it would be fun. Normal and it concept. is. It's absolute yeah. fun. It's I mean, not only fun for us, it's fun for everybody. Well, the audiences. I mean, I keep getting friends saying, you've got to go now. I haven't been yet. And then friends saying, you've got to go. It's fun because it was on a, The place you were talking about you'd never heard of was Chichester. Uh, which is a great place down in Sussex that put on brilliant plays. I had the best summer. You can't believe it. I had a house. I spent the summer down there. We rode around on bicycles. And we, you know, it was just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And working in that theater was wonderful. And all the other, it was the closest thing, like to the National, I have to say, because you know there would be other plays going on, you know, um, and everybody was coming through. There were so many shows and so many actors, and it, it was great, you know. And there was my son sitting there with Ian McKellen, you know, chatting over dinner. You know, he yeah. loved it. He said, right decision, Dad, right decision. Yeah, now, tell us about the character you play, because you're not Gene Kelly, you're not Donald O'Connor, and you're certainly not Debbie Reynolds. I could be. Yeah? But I'm not. <laughs> you know, I, um, I'm R.F. Simpson, and I am the studio boss. I run monumental pictures, and these are all my, my children. And it's basically... Moving the story forward, yeah. you know, when there's, you know, there's all a singing and dancing between my scenes, you know. But anyway, now do you get to do any singing and dancing? I do a little bit, yeah, I do. I mean, when I read it, you know, it's kind of like something that's in a groove. You can't really do much to change the way that is structured. But I had an idea, and I went to the director, Jonathan Church, who's a brilliant guy, and I said, I was thinking about dancing, and he said. Do you dance? I said, not a step. He said, I'm intrigued. And I said, well, it just seems to me, you know, this is a guy who knows what he wants in a movie, you know, and he's not beyond demonstrating. Yeah. And he said, that's what previews are for. So we went ahead and, uh, it, you know, things worked out. And it's, You've got it's... a wonderful cast who do dance. I mean, the likes of Adam Cooper uh, and Scarlett Strahl. And I mean, it's all the things you saw in the movie, there you were, uh, you see on the stage, including rain. I mean, you know, you're used to it in the movies. Do the front rows get wet, then, Michael? 
They do. <laughs> it's not like we turn a fire hose on them, but you know, we took out the um, um, orchestra pit and yeah. they put a 15,000 gallon tank. Wow. And the orchestra is now above and behind. Yeah. And the tank floods up. So it's not just rain, it's dancing in the Ooh, rain, you yeah, know? Yeah. And um, it's fantastic. It just, it all just happens. And uh, yeah, first couple of rows. A little bit damp. Yeah, yeah. Do you know, the, the irony, really, I suppose, this is here's Singing in the Rain, huge hit in the West End. The premise of the story is it's the talkies coming, and this is a silent movie they're making in Singing in the Rain. The talkies come, and it's all about what happens there. Here we have, at the Oscars, the artist, the first silent movie to win an Oscar in 82 years or something. So I guess so, the timing is well, right, it's, because yeah. it's like 50% of the artist is you know, singing in the rain. Yeah. And it's, it's because it's not a, uh, it's not story light. This is, a, this is a musical that has a real story about a real time when there was big change coming on and, and silent films were given a voice mm. and then the musicals and it, it just changed the world. And this, this is better than the picture. Yeah. It comes alive on stage in ways with such wonderful singing and dancing. The ensemble, aside from the leads of this show, who are brilliant, the preciseness of this, it's made me think in a whole different way than I've ever worked in my yeah. life. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a film, TV, mostly, you know, uh, you know, done Jerry Springer was a great musical, I didn't sing in it. No, but, but now you're a hoofer and you're a singer. Get you it. are now a king of the <laughs> musical. First time in my life. Uh, it's a